you ever feel tired but wired at night? It's almost like your body's forgotten how to turn off. You've brushed your teeth, you've turned off the lights, but your mind is still racing and your heart just will not settle. Here's the thing, it's not just insomnia, it's your nervous system stuck in alert mode and there is good news. You can teach your brain to shift from stress to rest and in this video I'll explain the science of why your nervous system resists sleep and give you five neuroscience back steps for nervous system regulation before bed. Hi, I'm Natalie, Community Manager and Coach with ReOrigin, where we use the science of neuroplasticity to help people calm their nervous system and reclaim their health. So ReOrigin is a self-directed brain retraining program that helps you rewire patterns of chronic stress, fatigue and anxiety by targeting the limbic system, the emotional command centre of your brain. And everything we teach at ReOrigin is backed by neuroscience, psychology, and the emerging field of mind-body medicine, showing you that when you change your brain's patterns, you can change how your body feels. Most people think that poor sleep is a nighttime problem, but it actually begins during the day. When we spend hours in a state of overstimulation through multitasking, scrolling all our devices and rushing, the sympathetic nervous system, so our fight or flight response, stays activated. Elevated stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline can actually remain in circulation for hours, keeping the body in a state of vigilance long after the stressor has gone. So when bedtime comes, the brain just doesn't simply flip into rest mode. It's still chemically primed for alertness and survival. And the key is intentional nervous system regulation. Practices that activate the parasympathetic nervous system, so that's our rest and digest branch. This helps lower cortisol, balance autonomic activity and prepare the brain for restorative rest and sleep. This isn't about forcing sleep, it's about teaching your nervous system safety. Each time you regulate, you are sending the signals that it's safe now and okay to rest. Why does this matter? Because chronic nervous system dysregulation actually impacts nearly every system in our body. When your nervous system remains in a prolonged state of high stress, research shows that it can actually elevate nighttime cortisol levels, which suppress melatonin and delay sleep onset. It also creates instability in heart rate variability, which is a key marker of poor autonomic regulation and it disrupts the brain's glymphatic system, which is the natural process that clears toxins and metabolic waste during deep sleep. In simple terms, a wired nervous system doesn't just make it hard to fall asleep. It alters the very chemistry and cellular cleanup that your body relies on to restore itself overnight. Studies from institutions like Harvard and Stanford show that slow breathing, somatic grounding and guided relaxation can shift the body into parasympathetic dominance, reducing heart rate, lowering cortisol and preparing the body for restorative rest and sleep. So I want to give you a five step routine for nervous system regulation before bed, all of which is grounded in neuroscience. So number one, is grounding your senses. Research shows that sensory grounding activates the insula, which is the part of your brain that helps regulate emotions. So right now, feel the weight of your body on the surface beneath you, whether that be your bed, the chair or the floor, and just notice the contact points where your body meets support. And let your next exhale melt your shoulders just a little bit. <sighs> Unclench your jaw, and just allow gravity to hold you. Each time you do this, you're sending a message to your nervous system that you're safe and you can rest here. Next is about regulating your breath. A 2021 study published in Cell Reports Medicine found that cyclic sighing, so those long deliberate exhales, was actually more effective for relaxation than mindful meditation. So we're gonna try this together. Gently inhale through your nose for a count of four. Now exhale slowly through your mouth for a count of six. Keep that rhythm going for about two minutes, those long, easy exhales. And what you're doing here is stimulating your vagus nerve, your body's built-in brake pedal for the stress response. Each breath tells your brain that you're safe, you can slow down and rest. Okay, 
So let's bring in some gentle movement here, some light stretching, which increases proprioceptive input. And that's your brain's way of sensing where your body is in space. These signals remind your nervous system that all is well. So we might roll our shoulders back. We might lift them up and down, or we might gently twist through our spine. Small movements like these help release tension before stillness. Now we're gonna reframe that mental story. Cognitive neuroscience shows that self-talk directly influences the amygdala, which is the part of your brain that decides whether something feels safe or threatening. So instead of thinking, oh, I have to fall asleep now, just simply try saying, it's safe to rest. My body knows exactly what to do. That simple shift actually helps deactivate limbic hyperarousal, so the root of that wired but tired feeling. And finally, create a cue for safety. End your practice with a phrase or simple gesture, maybe placing your hand over your heart or your belly. When you repeat this nightly, your brain starts to associate that cue with safety and rest. And over time, it becomes a conditioned relaxation response. Your nervous system's way of remembering, this is my cue to let go. So let's unpack what's really happening when you regulate your nervous system right before bed. Your limbic system, particularly the amygdala, hypothalamus and hippocampus, acts as your internal alarm. And when it's been overstimulated by chronic stress or trauma, it keeps sending out danger signals, even when you're perfectly safe. That triggers your sympathetic branch, so your fight or flight system, flooding your body with cortisol, adrenaline and norepinephrine. Those chemicals make your heart race, your mind loop and your body feel restless. Not exactly a great recipe for a deep sleep, but there is good news. Neuroplasticity research shows that repeated calm practices literally rewire these circuits, reducing amygdala activation and strengthening the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of your brain that says we're okay. So when you practice regulation nightly, you're not just relaxing, you're retraining your brain to default to calm. If you've ever found yourself lying awake at night wondering, why can I not just relax? The answer is not willpower, it's wiring. Your nervous system isn't broken, it's just been working a little too hard to keep you safe. But by practicing small, consistent steps, so grounding, breathing, reframing, you teach your body that night means safety and not survival. So tonight, before bed, just take a few slow, deep breaths, Feel the weight of your body supported and gently remind yourself it's safe to rest. My body knows how to relax. If you'd like some more science-backed tools just like this, visit reorigin.com or subscribe to our channel. You'll find videos on calming your limbic system, retraining your stress response and reclaiming your natural sleep rhythm. Because when your nervous system feels safe, everything else begins to heal.